Aleko. Uh, today, we'll continue from our previous session that is under the machinery motala. And we say this is under Muamalat. And we started with, uh, uh, that is in the previous session, we started with uh, 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 marriage. And we say in Form 1, we discussed about marriage. And we say this is the legal con uh, contract or union between uh, a man and a woman willing to live together as a couple that is husband and a wife harmoniously. So we also say that in the marriage life, there might uh, the uh, problems might arise, and they will want to separate. That is, it should they should have uh, valid reasons for them to do so. So Islam has outlined for both. They have given room for both to uh, ask for the separation, but there must be a conditions. First of all, uh, valid reasons and also conditions before they agree. So. Uh, talaq should be the, uh, the last resort. And we started with machinery. These are the steps of the institution of talaq. So these are the steps that they should first follow before uh, pronouncing the talaq. And we also look at the reasons and also the effects of talaq. So machinery for talaq say the first step is kind of combination is implied to us. There should be dialogue and so such and so. First of all, you sit with the the, cap, uh, the, the partner. You talk uh, to uh, him or her. Then now uh, you use polite white uh, words. You remind one another of uh, the uh, first of all uh, the intention of you being together or getting married and what you are wishing for the growth of that particular family. Then if it does not help, then the next step, uh, the second step is. Uh, spirit of conjugal rights, that is, the husband should abstain from uh, sharing the matrimonial uh, bed for a long period. So, if she does not listen, then the husband will not be sleeping in the bed, the matrimonial bed anymore. That is, they won't have uh, the sexual relations or uh, sexual intercourse between them for a period of time. If she does not listen, then if the two does not work, then the husband is allowed to give her a light victim, but it should not inflict or inflict uh, any pain, especially on the first, or leave any mark on her body. So the slight or the light victim should not cause any pain, nor cause a mark on the body. Then, if it does not work again, another step is in love. That is uh, the vow of uh, the vow of continuation. So what's in love? So the husband should vow that uh, to, to continue with severing uh, the conjugal rights for a period of four months. So if uh, the woman or uh, the wife does not uh, listen or does not, it is not to work. So the three step did not work. So the husband should continue. Uh, uh, with the uh, the value of all the um, leaving the matrimonial bed for four months, that is no sexual intercourse for four months. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says those who take an oath not to have sexual relations with their wives must wait for four months. Then if they return that is change their uh, idea in this period, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 226. So let's listen to Surah Al-Baqarah. So if the love did not work now, the fifth step, so during this period, these are the emissaries, all uh, these are represent representative from both sides are chosen to bring consolation. So if it is not work, the illa did not work, then there should be uh, representatives from both sides. 
it to uh, come and bring reconciliation between the two. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you fear a breach between the train, the man and the wife, appoint two arbitrators. One from his family and the other from hers. If they both wish for peace, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause their reconciliation. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all knower, well acquainted with all things. That is in chapter 4, verse 35. So let's listen. <laughs>
committed zina. So if uh, one of the couple uh, is a chance that is uh, is uh, a proof that he had been uh, going against them, uh, the, uh, whatever has been ordained by Allah, that is one of them is uh, committing zina, then they can ask for a divorce. Uh, if also again, another reason is that if the husband is physically and mentally able to earn a living but is not a good provider for his wife and any children they have. So if uh, the husband is strong enough, is healthy and he does not want to work, he is lazy. Tamdi is lazy because he does not want to work to provide for his family, then the wife can ask for divorce. So we continue from here in our second part.